bro, do you realize, For the first off, for the person who goes, you don't know why we're doing this? Yeah, it's a tough week. Guess what? There's tough weeks all the time. There's always something big on television, okay? And as far as like, well, you know, it's a tough week, so why don't we get some SmackDown wrestlers in the Raw tournament? Again, there's tough weeks and there's strong competition all the time. You know what would have made all of this a lot easier? If we didn't have a brand split in the first place, and every time there's a hard week, just book a big show with all of your stars. But instead, we did a draft, and now we have to we have to already. Do you realize that Bianca Belair wrestled on Raw last night? She's the SmackDown champion. Why is she wrestling on Raw? It wasn't even a day. They literally said, the day after Backlash, this all goes into effect. Well, we're now at the week after Backlash, and there's no brand split to speak of. Uh, Bianca's wrestling on Raw, and, you know, we got SmackDown wrestlers going to wrestle for the Raw title, and then we're going to have this, you know, whatever. I'm just like, God, this is so dumb. It's so dumb. And then, speaking of dumb, because this was also brought to my attention, you know, NXT tonight has a, a this tournament beginning to crown a new NXT Women's Champion. Because you see, they had an NXT Women's Champion, and she's going to the main roster. So she had to vacate her championship. Now we have a tournament. Well, meanwhile, we have NXT Women's Champions, and they are going to SmackDown with the NXT Women's Tag Team. They don't have to vacate their titles. They, you know, they're going to just go back and forth. But Indy has to vacate. Why? Well, you know, my argument was, you know, Indy's she's got a, a foot injury or whatever, so she has to vacate. And then, like, well, why'd she get called up then? Well, I don't know. I don't. This is all complete and utter nonsense. It's nonsense. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the latest nonsense with Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and the draft. It's all nonsense. Does Adam Pierce have to explain why somebody drafted Indy Hartwell as opposed to Braun Breaker? Well, you know that's another story entirely. <laughs> You see, Indy was ready for that main roster run, but Braun, he needs more seasoning. (laughs) He doesn't have a a Dexter uh, to be held in the arms of, but I guess if you want to take a good thing out of last night, and here, I'm looking for silver linings and things, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Does that make you happy? Does the thought of that make you happy, that match? Does the thought of, you know, those guys in Imperium actually being used in a different way, obviously still Wait a second. To... Did you watch the show? I know. Kevin and Sammy beat them last night. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> how about this? Which how about, actually didn't how, even bother me all that much, to be how honest. How about Mustafa Ali and Otis, or I'm sorry, Otis? And Maxine and the battle, the tug of war taking place between Maxine and Chad Gable. How about that? You know, there was good stuff on Raw last night, as we're going to get to. But, and and I and I hear this every day, and it just drives me nuts. Why is it all Vince's fault? And you know what? This is always brought up from people that didn't really watch the eight months before WrestleMania. It's always the people that didn't actually watch. The people that actually watched the show when he was gone and are now watching the show when he's back. It's like it hits you in the face. The stupid stuff that is returned the moment that guy came back that wasn't there before. Forget about it. And it's also people that didn't watch that keep telling me it actually wasn't any better, Brian. It wasn't any better. That's a lie. It was miles better. Miles and miles better. Guys, you know what? Go back and... It's all on YouTube. Go back and watch the world-famous Raw report for the, the time previous to Vince leaving. Watch it again during the period that Vince was gone. And watch it again now. I watched every single solitary show. And it was miles better when he was gone. And now he's back, and absolutely stupid, nonsensical, mindless stuff is back. So don't tell me, oh, carrying the water for Hunter. 
blah 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 blah. Look at the stuff it's that was painfully universally... obvious if you watch the shows. Yes, painfully. <laughs> Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? Me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.